Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your router's flash with a new iOS. Uh, this is a good technique. Let's say you purchased a router or a switch off of eBay, and you don't know what the previous owner did with the router, and you want to use it for, in our case, um, a voice router, um, some type of remote survivability router or call manager express. So we need to make sure we have the right files on that router and remove all of the files that we may not need so that is done by doing the copy TFTP flash command It's a very simple and straightforward process so I'm just gonna get started now we're gonna assume that you don't have a TFTP server for those of you who do not have one and looking for us they are free well most of them are free and this is a really good one this is called TFTPD um, they have a 64 and a 32 bit version so if you have a 64 bit processor get that one if you have a 34 bit process 32 bit processor get that one so um, basically I'll actually put a link to this website in the description but since I'm already here I just need to go stroll down go to download um, I want to choose the 64 bit version standard edition uh, the installer hit save this is a very small file so it takes no time to download you click on it and you can just agree and just click 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 through the standard installation okay now I need to locate that program inside of my files here it is I'm gonna open it very small simple program now one thing we need to do is make note of the directory since we didn't change it it is the default under program files tftpd64 uh, the interface is going to be the interface of your NIC card this is just a loopback interface so we need to find the IP address of my NIC card and that is 192.168.1.69 alright the next thing we need to do is locate the file on your PC and place it into the directory of the TFTP server so we're going to do that now I already had it saved here and I'm going to be using this file. This is the file I'm going to choose to serve to my router. So now I need to go to the directory. It's on programs, tftpd64, and I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to go ahead and choose to rename, but I'm not actually going to rename it. I'm just going to copy this name because I'm going to use that later when I issue the command to the router. So copied it. So next thing we need to do is do a P TFTP flash hit enter. I need to put in the IP address of my TFTP server. In this case, it'll be my computer's IP address 192.168.1.69. And I need the source name. And remember, I went and ahead and did a rename and copied the name of the file. This is just to help us. Um, eliminate error and typing it in manually so just go ahead and copy it because these things can be pretty long and in-depth unless you change them and sometimes that's not such a good idea and we're gonna keep the destination file name the exact same so just hit enter here and it's gonna access the TFTP server that's what we want and it says erase flash before copying remember like I said we're just assuming that this is a used router didn't really know what it was used for so we want to get rid of all the old files on the flash card inside of the router so we're gonna hit enter for to confirm that we want to erase it and then it says erasing the file system will remove all files that's what we want so we're just gonna hit confirm enter and it's just erasing the device right now and typically this takes uh, under a minute so we'll just sit here and and let this process happen Okay, now that it is done erasing the flash card, it has begun the process of uploading this file to the router. 
and the cool thing about this TFTP server which you don't get on on some TFTP servers it gives you a little progress bar and a a percent to let you know how far you are to completion and that's really handy if you're kinda impatient or just want to know if your uh, file has halted for some reason so this is a very good um, TFTP server just for this reason alone and this is gonna take a while so I'm actually gonna pause this video and come back towards the end of the upload okay as you can see the file is almost done with this upload process uh, total time is taking around 50 minutes uh, give or take so um, as I wrap this up it'll it'll complete the upload and it'll run a checksum just to verify that the file is still a valid iOS file and after that we're all done so we're just gonna sit back and watch that process happen and then I'll wrap this video up okay that's it guys and to verify the the uh, iOS loaded successful we're just gonna do a show flash and there it is I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos to your friends or th those who may be interested in to getting into Cisco Voice or just Cisco in general. Um, this is a very rewarding and and um, uh, a field that allows everyone to take part. Uh, whether you are a security specialist, a voice specialist, or just a network specialist, I mean it's just a a vast array of of opportunity out here for us engineers. So um, my goal is just to get everybody interested in this. Um, it's not for capital gain solely. It's it's really to to help spread the word of Cisco and Cisco Voice because I am a voice engineer. But that's just my spiel. Um, I'm just really passionate about my craft. I hope you guys continue to like, comment, and subscribe my videos. And thank you very much for geek sakes.